First, welcome back to another episode of Zoa Tank Boys. In this episode, guys, we're gonna do a reef update, take a look at the tank, and I'm also gonna buy some new coral because I'm here at Tops of Aquatics. Let's go. OG baby, six hundo. Did you find anything? Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. I might have to get one of these. I've been wanting one of these. What is it? This is the Fabian. Oh. All right, guys. I'm gonna have to pick up one of these for sure. How much is it? Seventy nine. Uh -huh. It says TSA Wolverine Fabia. I know that's crazy. No, these are crazy. What are those? those, are those are pandora. Or pandora. Yeah. All right, we first. So I just got home. I'm about to acclimate the corals. And before we do that, I want to give you guys a peek at the Red Sea 350 because it's been a little while since we really take a good look at it. So lately, I have been running whites a little bit more than the normal because I do have some corals that um, are demanding of light. So everything is doing super, super good for the most part. The Acan Garden is doing well. And of course, guys, we are gonna hit it with the blue so we can take a look at that. Toadstool's looking awesome. Got a couple um, Zoa Gardens. Got a little one back there. A little cluster of them here. But so far, guys, this tank, super easy to take care of. I do my 20, 25% water changes every two to three weeks. I am gonna start dosing, just because I do have some SPS in here that I want to do well. SPS, the frag that I picked up were in the back there. We do got some here. Now you guys may be wondering where Zach and Kelly are. So I did move them to the David's Aquarium because he needed some clowns. And I had to find a little home for this guy who at the time I had been living in my sump. So everybody's been getting along super, super well, no complaints. In my living room, guys, as you guys saw, Fire Island is also right here, killing it. I do want to add some green nams, maybe some more rock flowers. I even thought about adding maybe like a small dwarf angel because since I have no real coral in here, I don't really have to worry too much about them going nuts. So leave a comment below if you think I should do that. But let's turn the lights blue so we can get a really good peek at this and then we can add the corals that I picked up at Top Shelf Aquatics. 
All right, guys, so here we have the aquarium, all blues, no whites. What do you guys think? I think everything is looking pretty good. So to get a little closer, here's one of the gardens. Got some GMKs, Psychosis, Season's Greeting Monty, Scrambled Eggs. And that right there is a Worldwide Coral Rainbow Blasto, OG Rainbow Blasto, Biohazard. So there's a little bit of everything there. A couple more Zoanthids. In the back, there's even coral there. So AYs, Rastas, Magicians. I usually run the tank and on blues, but lately I've been on a kick of whites. So, guys, check these guys out. The Mind Tricks, I picked this frag up at um, Rifa Palooza, and it's been popping babies like crazy. Souls are doing pretty good. I feel like I got the flow dialed in. I do want to replace that gyre, which is super dirty, with another MP10. I feel like they're easier to clean. The flow is more intentional. So today I picked up a Favia and a Monty. So as you guys can see back there, I have my Ultron Favia, which started up with one little polyp, and now it's a nice little colony. So I'm gonna add that Favia, and it's a Wolverine Favia, which I've been looking for for such a long time, so I'm happy I got that. And the Montipora, which I'm gonna possibly put in the back of a wall. So let's get to work on that. All right guys, so I just got home. I got my corals here. So I picked up a Tyree, very vibrant green Montipora and a Wolverine Favia. So I've made some room in the aquarium. I added a little bit of like a little bridge rock that we're gonna use, but we gotta pop these guys off the peg. We gotta inspect them. I'm not gonna do a very elaborate kind of inspection process. Um, I got it from Top Soap Aquatics. Um, so other than an inspection, I'm going to put these guys in because to be frank with you, every night dipped. So pray for me. This guy, I'm going to mount him on a magnet, on an old uh, little white magnet. So I'm going to pop it off, glue it on there so he grows really nicely. So let's take him off. Two babies actually because you can see there's there's um two more in there let's take some of this extra glue off 
comes off super easily. And guys, this is why fragging is really good. I had a huge colony with like 40 of these heads. Something happened. I don't know if it was a pest or something started killing them off. So I made like six or seven frags of these. And now I'm back to growing them out. So. Okay, so where do I want to add this guy? So I'll put you right here in this little patch. Pretty quick growing zoanthid. All right, and here we have the green pallies. This, guys, grows like crazy. Do not glue this to anything. Put it in its own little island. I literally just always throw them right here. He'll do what he wants to do. There. That rest is all over you, huh? And now all we have to glue is the green Monty. And here, so what I'm gonna do guys, I'm actually gonna glue this to the wall, like right here. And then I'm gonna put the Monty on top of it to let it grow. I'm thinking that's where I want it. What do you think? Maybe somewhere that gets better light. Can the leather there touch it? No, well, there's not touching it. Oh, it's gonna be close to it then. That's a good spot where there's not touching it there. I'm gonna add some glue. This is where I gotta be careful because you gotta add a lot of glue. Flat surfaces typically don't adhere good. This tank is so stocked with coral. I keep telling myself I'm not gonna add any more corals, guys but I just keep finding pieces that I like to fall in love with. The cool thing about these little glues is you could go through a whole little tube pretty quick. And then when you're done, you just throw it away. You don't have to worry about spoiling the rest of them. All right, that looks pretty good to me. All right, let's go. Okay, that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. All right, Reed First, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of Zola Tank Boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. We can't end this video without giving a shout out to the comment from the last video. Let's do that. All right, guys, so the comment for this week is going to go to Alan Tomasetti, and this is exactly what he said. I can't wait to start my first tank. I plan on turning it into a dedicated rock flower anemone and purchase them all from Trash Panda. Great spot. Has a lot of fire. Can you imagine what a Red Sea Reef for 750 will look like with 100 rock flowers anemones? Yeah, crazy. So... Keep us posted, let us see it, tag us on Instagram so we can see this aquarium. Till next time, Zola Tank Boys out!